much. Alpha Team. Welcome, in this episode we'll take an in-depth look at Blink. What does Blink do? How do you use it? I will also share strategies and tactics I use to make the best use of Blink. First, what is Blink? Blink is a movement ability that replaces your normal jump ability. When activated, it will teleport you in your desired direction. Sounds simple, right? Well, it is really a lot more complex than that. So here's how it goes. At zero seconds, you activate it. The jump button is hit while in air, activating the blink process and cues your HUD to fade. At 0.3 seconds, you dematerialize. Your guardian disappears. At 0.37 seconds, you blink, instantly moving 6 meters. At 0.53 seconds, you rematerialize. Your guardian begins to reappear. At 0.93 seconds, you are materialized. Your guardian has completed the blink process. At 1.6 seconds, your weapons are ready. At this moment, you can begin shooting again. At 2.23 seconds, your HUD is visible. Your HUD and radar become visible and can be used again. The most notable information, you blink 6 meters. And at sprinted speed, you can move up to 18 meters during the blink process. The delay before blink is 0.37 seconds in which you can take damage. Your character is invisible for 0.2 seconds. Your weapon ready delay is 0.67 seconds in which you are fully visible but cannot shoot and your HUD is still disabled. HUD delay is 1.3 seconds in which period you have completed your blink but still do not have your HUD including your radar. Blink cooldown. The blink cooldown is weird and has two possible ways it can go. Possibility 1. You blink and experience a 0.8 second delay then blink again. Then you wait 2.4 seconds for cooldown and blink again. Then you wait 4 seconds for cooldown and then repeat from step 1. Possibility 2. You blink. Then wait between 2.6 seconds and 4.0 seconds for cooldown. Then you blink again, then repeat from step 1. The basics to note are, one blink takes 2.4 seconds to prepare, two blinks takes 4 seconds to prepare, blinking within 2.4 seconds of your last blink will force you to wait the 4.0 seconds to prepare for two blinks. Blink delay is 0.8 seconds, you must wait this time after completing a blink to do another one. Now that we are fully briefed with all the information having to do with blink, let's look at how to use it. Getting used to the disorientation and lack of HUD. With blink you lose something you do not realize you relied on so much, the HUD. It's easy to feel lost without the information your HUD offers and you may be inclined to simply wait it out. While you blink, your screen is rippled and blurry, and you are of course teleported to a new location. This can be quite disorienting. Overall, it can be a super disorient experience for those new to it, so how do we handle it? The key is to decide a quick plan before you blink and then follow through with it. This plan can be as simple as traveling across the map, or be much more complex. Either way, you must follow through with it. Let's say you move into a line and there is an enemy right ahead of you and close, moving toward you. A good plan would be to attack, blink over him, melee him from behind, and then move away shooting to finish him off, or instead retreat, blink back and move to cover quickly. You must decide on such a plan quickly and then follow through with it. Of course, you're thinking, well things don't always go to plan, and that's something that matters and you may have to change your plan after blinking due to new developments, but you must be decisive as not knowing what you want to accomplish will slow you down and often lead to your death. As you learn to use blink, you will learn to rely on your radar less. As any other character, you will typically look at your radar after making an aggressive move to see where the enemy is around you, but with Blink this is not possible. Instead you will have to scan your surroundings quickly, just what you can see on your screen. Having good map knowledge and taking note of where your enemy was on your radar before helps you know where to look plenty. You need to do this scan so you can decide what you want to do. Having just blinked into a room, you may have a few options. Engage the enemy, blink at the enemy to attack even more aggressively, and blink back out the way you came, or blink forward to move on to the next area. This scan and then decision must be quick as any other player could have done the same scan with only a quick glance at their radar. Getting used to blinking can take time and every player makes plenty of bad decisions but not making a decision or making a slow one will always be the worst. Tactics and Tips Engage the enemy from unexpected angles. Blinking over walls, around corners, and over other objects 
that most players walk around as a great way to surprise your opponent. Use your teammates. Attack enemies who are distracted by your allies or instantly take over for an ally in a gunfight. With Blink, your sudden introduction into a gunfight can nearly never be expected. Use your enhanced speed. Blink's traveling speed allows you to both change your angle of attack quickly and retreat from being overwhelmed. You are faster than people in their super, so use this to your team's advantage by acting as bait. When in doubt, in CQC, Blink. Oftentimes, at close range, if something happens that you didn't expect, blinking straight up or around can win you the fight. Many times I've had situations that I thought I was going to for sure lose, but a well-timed Blink saved me. Use Tactical Retreat. With Blink, you can retreat from a bad situation and then set up a better situation for yourself once the enemy follows. Taking on multiple opponents. Blink offers you a better chance in outnumbered engagements, especially if you have a strong CQC weapon. You can blink in, take one out quickly with a melee and your weapon, and then blink away to escape. Taking on multiple opponents is difficult and can take accurate blinking as well as timing and aiming. Blinking at your enemy in a losing engagement. Oftentimes, if your enemy is close enough, you can blink right above or behind them to finish them off with a melee when you're losing a gunfight. This requires a good knowledge of when you're losing a fight and exceptional timing. I don't know how many times in D1 I've been in terrible moments just about to lose a gunfight, but I time a blink perfectly placing me right behind their head. Also the amount of times I've failed in seeing my body fall across the map. There are unlikely many other strategies using blink, so please share yours. Do you like blink? I hope you enjoyed the information. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.